Imagine taking a snapshot of a single molecule. Here at QTIC in Delft, we are building quantum devices that can manipulate single electrons. One of their uses is to build quantum computers, but you might also be able to use them in another way, imaging single molecules. We report a large advance toward that goal. Using a single electron as a quantum sensor, we image a cluster of 27 carbon atoms with a precision less than the size of one atom. How? The basis is the magnetic resonance phenomena, which is also used to make brain scans or to analyze chemicals. Some atomic nuclei behave like tiny magnets called the spins. When you put this in a magnetic field, they start to tumble around. This tumbling can be used to make the spins receive or send radio waves, which can then be detected using antennas. The exact frequencies of those radio signals tell us what local magnetic environment the spin feels. The signal depends on the type and precise location of other spins in the neighborhood. This allows us to peer inside molecules, but this method has its limitations. The emitted radio waves are weak, and billions and billions of molecules are typically needed for a detectable signal. Detecting individual molecules has been out of the question. Our single electron quantum device, it changes that. It's a so-called MV center within a diamond. Basically, a spare electron in a lattice of carbon atoms. We can detect this individual electron spin by sending laser pulses and observing the light it sends back. By also sending sequences of radio wave pulses, we turn the electron spin into an atomic scale magnetic resonance device that can detect individual spins nearby. To show this, we studied a group of 27 carbon-13 atoms as a model system for a single molecule. Carbon-13 atoms make up about 1% of the diamond. The rest is carbon-12 atoms, which has no spin, and does not create signal. This group of 27 spins provide a model system for the imaging of a single molecule. However, things can get quite complicated. All of these 27 spins feel each other's magnetic fields, which would normally give us a jungle of about 67 million different frequencies, hard to make sense of. We developed a measurement protocol to sense the interactions between pairs of spins one by one. This way, we got a table of couplings between all the spins. An intensive calculation then turned this into a full picture of all the locations of the spin, a 3D image of the system. While it is super exciting that we can now magnetically image complex structures with single atom sensitivity and resolution, this is just the first step. Next, we aim to detect samples outside the diamond. Ultimately, the dream is to take single molecules such as proteins or the quantum material that might form the building blocks of future quantum computers and image them atom by atom.